Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. I was trying to build a Linux image for the Vision 5 too, but luckily for me, Star 5 released a Debian image for the Vision 5 to Risk 5 SBC. It's really just work in progress and I'm not going to show you that much because well I'm also running from a micro SD card so it's not really a pleasant experience so far but that's also because I'm running from a micro SD card and not from an NVMe drive so I recommend that you try to use it with a NVMe drive and I also noticed that the Ethernet port next to the HDMI port is the one that is working for me so default you can log in with root and then the password is star5 all lower caps So here we are on the desktop and I already tried some things. Um, it's a bit weird that the default web browser is not working, but luckily you can start Firefox. And again, I'm running from a micro SD card, so uh, I don't think this is like really giving you the best image of how it's working or or at least i think it probably is a lot smoother when you're running it from a nvme drive and unfortunately with firefox um there's no um, GPU acceleration for video decoding, at least not now. And the loading of the YouTube page, that's not the fault of my internet connection because I have uh, fiber. And although I am uh, seeding the torrent of this Debian file, but um, I maxed it at around half of the bandwidth that I have available for upload. So yeah, my internet connection is fine, but um, I can show you some other stuff that um, you can really sh see that you uh, need the best uh, storage uh, to have a bit of a smoother experience so if we go to the big buck bunny video Then we open the stats for nerds, so it's at 480. And because it's still loading parts of the page, then that's yeah, not a nice experience. And once the page has properly loaded, then things do become better. Although still not a smooth experience. So 
So I guess um, this is enough for the impression with YouTube. And let's see. I don't have really high hopes, but let's see if this works. Well, that doesn't work at all. So the WebGL support is very limited in Firefox at the moment. And the last test, well, yeah, closing the window with your mouse is sometimes a bit challenging. So let's just say we start LibreOffice. And again, yeah, it's probably faster when you're on an NVMe drive. So it does work, but it feels rather slow. And yeah, this really is just a work in progress. And I can also show you where you can download it. Um, first, they just published it on their website, but their web server wasn't really able to handle all the traffic. So they added a torrent link. So when you go to Debian dot star five tech dot com And then you can go to the Google Cloud disk. And then go into engineering release, image 55 in this case, perhaps that will change in the future. And then there is a torrent file so here you can see, this is the torrent file. I think it's better to download it through torrent because I don't know after how much traffic um, Google will limit the traffic. So at the moment uh, I'm still seeding it. So my suggestion to you is also that you download it through torrent and that you also seed it for the other people that want to download it after you. Um, I'm still s a bit um, struggling with compiling an image myself. Um, uh, some people were successful and I think uh, you will have the least issues when you're on Ubuntu 20 dot oh four so that is one of the older releases you uh, because when you're on 22.04 um, there is an issue with um, I think it was something like an SSL library or lib crypto library I'm not really sure um, apparently 
it needs an older version and you only notice that um, at the end of the process. Uh, so again, uh, probably the easiest thing to do is set up a virtual machine with Ubuntu 20.04 and then uh, follow the instructions. So you have to go to the Vision 5.2 GitHub from Star 5 Tech, not the Vision 5. So the Vision 5.2. And you can follow the instructions. And when you have a GitHub account, I think you're good to go when you don't have a GitHub account and you just want to access uh, the source code, then you have to change, um, oops, the, this URL. So you need to change the colon with a dash and then instead of git at, you should uh, replace it with HTTPS colon slash slash. Um, and also when you're at the stage of building those menus, then you also have to go into the menu and change uh, the URL again uh, if you don't have a GitHub account. And that's for the two top ones. Um, so if you're on uh, Ubuntu 20.04 and you have a GitHub account, then perhaps you can just um, do it like this. So once you have the source code, so you need to go through these steps, get the Git LFS support, get the source code. Um, I think you also have to, yeah, also get these directories separately. So here you see this command make, and then I think all these steps that they are that you can run them from where is it again yeah uh, with this command and then at the end you can create the SD card image so but on to be on the safe side you also might want to go through all these steps individually um, and once you're um, built a Linux kernel and not really sure if BusyBox and FFmpeg are mandatory, but probably it's better to do those anyway. So once you've finished all that, then in theory, you should be able to create the micro SD card image with this command. Um, yeah, I tried to compile it uh, actually on ARM <laughs> and well, I did have the issue with the uh, libcrypto library because I tried it from, uh, actually I tried it with Armbian, but it was probably based on something like uh, something similar to Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, but yeah, you, you need to have that older library. But I think I have the suspicion that you can also compile it from uh, an ARM CPU. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.